conversations with other parliaments around the world um, as we attend these meetings I wish to bring it to the attention of the House that these are spaces that are extremely important because we get to learn what is happening around the world and we borrow from each other and develop and strengthen international cooperation, uh, particularly cooperation around the parliaments of the world. The Interparliamentary Union is the union of all parliaments of the world, except very few of those. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, as we have met in the, uh, uh, during this session, very key issues have been discussed, including, including peace and security, and how the different nations can come together to strengthen the rules and regulations that we have internationally on peace and security, the rules and regulations around matters, food security, rules and regulations around sustainable development, rules and regulations on other issues, particularly emerging issues. When I moved the motion, I spoke about the science and technology committee that I'm sitting in, Mr. Speaker, that has been a very educative forum. Very educative forum because uh, uh, there are so many things we take for granted. And you find that the world is actually uh, becoming, going to uh, centrally uh, uh, driven by technology. And we are all going there, but possibly not planning for it properly. And the parliaments of this world and parliamentarians do not necessarily have the capacity to be able to know what kind of policy can they support within their arms of government. So these sessions enable us to be able to uh, uh, converse and to be able to see how to move legisl legislation in these areas. One of the ongoing uh, conversations technically that is happening is the matter of internet governance. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I don't think anybody is moving serious legislation and policy around internet governance uh, 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 in this country. And internet governance is a complex issue that would require that we refocus knowing that internet actually uh, makes the globe a one center. Because with internet, you are able to access information not just from your own country, but from other countries. And we need to be able to think on how uh, we can have complex regulations that can ensure that as we use internet as it enables us to move in on many fronts that it will also be able to be a safe space particularly for those who are vulnerable including minors we would not know how to do these things unless we deliberately are trained on this and i'm not aware of at the kenya level any trainings that our own parliament or PSC has put in place to guide us on understanding the complex scientific areas that require that we, we regulate. Mr. Speaker, in the Angola meeting, one of the things that came up, one of the resolutions that was moved by the Committee on Dem uh, De Democracy and Human Rights was a resolution on orphanage trafficking. And this, uh, Kenya actually had six amendments to this uh, uh, resolution, and we actually managed to get five of them taken up. And when I came back home, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to report that we, I have actually, uh, with, with the support of the legal uh, department, we are drafting an amendment to our uh, uh, Child Trafficking Act because in that act we never contemplated trafficking that happens around the orphanage. Mr. Speaker, a lot of child trafficking is happening and you will be amazed or shocked that part of what is happening is people will set up institution in the name, in institutions in the name of helping children, but those institutions are being used to traffic 